This is what I asked. What is the future of subscriptions and notifications on YouTube? Many people, like myself, went through and turned on all notifications for the channels we're subscribed to, and this is because if we didn't, some people's videos wouldn't show up in the subscriptions feed page. They instead would only show up if their videos met some sort of unwritten, unannounced criteria that aligns with an unwritten, unannounced algorithm. So as I said, in turn, many people turned on all notifications for all of the channels they're subscribed to. With the new YouTube notification bell, we are seeing all the same things that we would in our subscriptions feed. Unfortunately, if someone turned on all notifications for all the channels they're subscribed to, it means that the notification bell will be almost completely filled with notifications of channels uploading videos. Sure, the bell gives people the option to turn off notifications for that channel, but if we do that, their videos may not always show up in the subscriptions feed page. So I'm beginning to wonder whether or not it is in the plans to get rid of the subscriptions tab on the main page and instead focus on the things people would see if they were using Roku. Google already got rid of the All Activity tab, claiming it was to save screen real estate, and replaced it with a Trending tab. If Google wants YouTube to be competition to television, it would seem likely that they would get rid of all the remaining leftovers of YouTube being a social networking site. I understand that Google has worked very hard to try to force people to be subscribed to fewer channels, but if they get rid of the subscriptions feed page, I don't really know how this is supposed to work. It's almost as if you want people to be narrow-minded and tribal. So I'm left with the question, what is the future of subscriptions and notifications on YouTube? I doubt I'm going to get any responses to this post. That's how any inquiries about this sort of thing go, but we'll see.